I tested every holographic build plate for the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini that I could get my hands on by printing Ponagachis. I first heard about textured build plates sometimes last year on the Cyberspace Man Mike Discord. My interest was rekindled when I saw the hologram build plates. Fun fact, the effect is actually prismatic. I had just created a case that allowed the face of the case to be printed face down in order to maximize the silky smoothness of silk PLA. It occurred to me that I could create a case where five of the six sides printed down to maximally maximize the prismatic effect. It was difficult to find holographic build plates for the Creality Max Neo, which had temporarily stopped not working, so I bought some third-party plates meant for bamboo printers and improvised. I tried to create extended butterfly clips by cannibalizing some palette knives and aluma welding it all together. Unfortunately, they interfered with the bed leveling and were ultimately more inconvenient than taping and retaping down the bed as needed. Despite the jank, I got some very good results. The biggest issue was gluing the case together without getting glue on every surface and ruining the prismatic effect. I experimented with some locking mechanisms. The obstacles were manifold. External mechanisms would prohibit printing the walls face down, while internal mechanisms would ruin the tolerances. The only option was to embed them in the hinges, but my CAD program is not good, in fact, very not good, at Boolean operations. As my mind wandered, it struck me. I could lock everything in place with an external lid, so I did that. In the meantime, the Creality Max Neo stopped stopping not working. Creality refused to honor the warranty, but Amazon offered me a refund. They didn't even want me to return it. By the way, a resin printer, unfortunately, wasn't in the cards. The hacker's Ponogachi Pager crowdfund was the victim of its own success. We likely would have made our goal if PayPal hadn't temporarily frozen the associated account because of suspicious regarding increased activity. PayPal never processed the transactions that occurred during the freeze, and we fell short as a result. Unlike TryHackMe.com, I was able to give everyone the money I owed them the very same day. Meanwhile, Talking Sasquatch sent me a video of what he was able to accomplish printing the folded shigachi on a bamboo printer. In the wild times, I'd been looking for some more build plate patterns, and it occurred to me that most of them were made for bamboo printers. So, I bought a bamboo A1 Mini with the Max Neo refund and it made me happy. Newly realized cloud concerns aside, the speed of the new printer was amazing and allowed me to rapidly iterate using different PLA kinds and colors. It seemed like the prismatic effect is most prominent when backed by black. The most significant settings seemed to be initial line width. It seemed like I got the best results when the initial line width was the exact same size as the nozzle's diameter. I think that might be because printing in any other size relies on flow rates and Z offset and is consequently inexact. And so I ordered an O2 diameter diameter nozzle to see if I could almost entirely eliminate layer lines. The nozzle would not arrive in time for the tests, however. Hurtling ahead, I printed every pattern on black PLA, each under the exact same circumstances. And here are the results. But before that, a couple of caveats. The effect actually seems stronger on camera, so keep that in mind. Also, the effect is only good from certain angles, otherwise it goes into stealth mode, which is actually not entirely undesirable for a hacking device. And here are the results. Comment which is your favorite. To fold the folded shigachi, brace it against a table. Wrap it with rubber bands to hold the shape. You may want to add glue between the hinges, but it might not be necessary. Then drop the hardware in and lock it all together with the lid. Any amount of oil, dirt, or dust on the surface of the print or the print bed will pollute the prismatic effect. 
so I wanted a way to safely store my build plates. Bonus build, I salvaged pieces from an unfinished project. First cuts were bad and then I remembered a YouTuber told me that I could help keep my cuts clean with tape, although I should have used duct tape instead. I printed some cross pieces on my speedy new printer and glued it all together. It is very handsome. My ancestors used every part of the Amazon shipping boxes and I honor that tradition. Points if you can correctly comment about three different appearances of this design. In this video I tested every holographic build plate for the A1 Mini that I could get my hands on by printing full Foldish Agachis. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy Foldish Agachis on cyberspacemanmike.com, or if you're going to buy a holographic plate, please consider using the links in the description. If you like freebies, the files are up for free on cyberspacemanmike.com. This is a good time to ask you to like and subscribe. At the last minute, I decided to do a giveaway where you can earn raffle chances helping the channel by doing obnoxious social media stuff. He but it's fun for me to experiment with this stuff and I hope it will be successful for you too. Links are in the description. Also, why not get your cybersecurity education back on track and follow along with our tryhackme.com challenge live streams. The schedule is available on Twitch and cyberspacebandmike.com. Be on the lookout for the next video top 10 Ponagachi plugins. Thank you and goodbye.